um, again, thank you so much for having me. And um, I would have preferred to be with you all as well, but um, saying hello from my home in San Francisco. So, so that's why I want to talk about broadening the value of open data. So, um, and I think it's worth stepping back and, and talking about why we care about open data. It's because it's really about enabling a data-driven ecosystem, which supports research and analysis, performance dashboards, I think I heard dashboards in the introduction, um, assessing how government works, and not just assessing that internally, but opening up so others can do that assessment. And of course, the. Um, the inevitable web and mobile applications that are being built on government data. And then ultimately, though, it's not just for that. It's the range of positive outcomes we care about. Increased quality of life, more efficient city services, better decision making, as well as the new businesses that are making money off of repackaging and selling government data. And, and subsequently, we did start publishing data. And we went through what I call the publishing scramble phase of open data, where it was like, publish it. Who cares about the metadata? Just get it out there. It's important to get it out there. Let's not worry about updating it yet and those kinds of things. We have lots of apps that have been built on our open data and um, extended the essentially extended the services that we're offering as a city. And we have a very robust civic tech community. We've also, um, with the Yelp data standard, um, we've essentially taken the restaurant inspections, which is a government role, and combined it with this service, Yelp, that reviews restaurants. So who doesn't want to know the, the, the quality um, in the health ratings of a restaurant if they're going to eat at it? So combining this sort of this private entity with public data enriched the value of it. And then of course we've been ranked and continue to be ranked top in the country in terms of the data sets we're publishing part recognition of this period of stagnation. We needed that, we recognize that we need to really um, deal with resourcing this properly. And we moved into phase four, um, the resource reckoning, where essentially this is where we modified our open data policy and we said, you know what, we need the role of chief data officer. It's a new role, but we really need someone to drive not only the open data, but help support the city and how it uses data and decision making. And so one of the questions I asked, um, both inside and outside of the city, but especially inside the city, our savviest data users, our data analysts, we, we asked them a simple question. How do you access data? And what was so interesting is we asked them two times. We asked them, how do you access data within your department, within, and then how do you access data from other agencies or other departments? And in all cases, they definitely used existing information systems. Um, but the oranges, when they go to ask other groups, and the, the, the reliance on personal relationships and calling people up was actually a really key part about using data um, versus actually being able to access it from the systems. And just a little bit of context, um, we're a pretty large organization and we're an old organization, so we have many, many technical systems and a lot of technical complexity. And so um, navigating that technical and personal um, complexity is pretty challenging. So we really structured our entire um, strategic plan, which is available online, around solving um, challenges in data use with the idea that that will not only broaden the value of open data, but d open data can become the platform on which broader data use is done. So one, knowing the data exists. Two, being able to access the data. And three, have the ability to use the data. And then ultimately, that facilitates change. And together, I call these strategic releases, where essentially um, we first identify candidates, pressing information gap or need, inefficient reporting. There's always people asking for reports on many, many different things. Um, is there high public interest and concern? Is it complex and cross-departmental? Um, and then how can we leverage open data programs to expose all of those key data sets, provide the context and visualizations? And so, um, so I think this is really key to broadening the value of open data. So two things I've talked about in terms of broadening, making it internally much more valuable, and then secondly, using data and using these strategic releases to, to do more than simply push data out there, but to release thematic sets of data and then visualize them to provide, to turn it into an information resource. And that's essentially what we did back in New Orleans before then word open data, the phrase open data even existed. So really trying to bring that kind of community conversation perspective to open data. 
all of our blog posts. You can follow us on Twitter if, if that's what you're into. Um, and then, of course, our resource library, which I mentioned earlier, where we're literally every document, everything we pull together in the course of our open data work, we're posting online so that others can use it and benefit from it. And with that note, I think I can just stop and start taking questions, or I don't know if the next person is going to speak. So thank you so much.